Welcome to Kensho Quest. In this video, I'm going to tell you why this PackSafe 85 liter backpack and bag protector is one of the best accessories you can get to protect your gear while you're on the road. Welcome to Kensho Quest. We're traveling the world full time with kids. Please subscribe for packing tips and travel inspiration. Give us a Here at Kensho Quest, we only review items that we've used in the real world. With the PackSafe 85 liter, we've actually had this for almost 10 years. We also post weekly travel vlogs where we hope to inspire you to get out there and travel. First of all, if somebody wants to steal your stuff, they're going to steal it. Okay, This is not going to uh, stop a real thief. What it's going to do is it's going to detract most would-be thieves. All right, let's get to it. It comes in a pretty durable bag. Like I said, we've been using this for almost 10 years. Right. Lots of wires. Looks like a big tangle, but it's actually pretty easy to use once you get it out of the, uh, <laughs> the tangle. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to open this as big as you can because the chances are your bag may not be the exact shape as this. As you can see, this is this is really made for a backpack if you look at the shape of it. But what you can do is you can stretch it out this way. And in most cases, this is how you're going to use it. You're going to use it stretched out like this. And originally we were using a 75 liter in this. It's better to make sure you get a, a larger one than your actual bag size too, by the way. Here, right here, I have a, this is a 20 liter boundary errant. This in here. Now what I would do is lie it down and again I'm going to put it in with the wide side open like this. This is the easiest way to put it into the bag. Okay, now that I've got it in there what you want to do is you want to get it around as tight as possible. And in this case, since this is plenty big, I can make it all the way to the tightest of one of these purple bubble thingies here. And then what you want to do is lock it into place right there. And as you can see now, the entire bag is completely protected. So just make sure that this is not near an area where someone can stick their hand in, you know, and open something and pull something out. And then what you want to do with this end here is you want to loop this around something to, to hold it down. So what I'm going to do here in this example is I'm just going to show you of me connecting it to this table. And the reason why is it's kind of heavy. And so if somebody is going to steal your bag, they're going to have to take this table with them or at least break this off. So again, this is going to detract most would-be thieves. And what I like to do, if possible, is I'll loop it around, if I have the space, I'll loop it around a lot of things. And then, we have our own separate lock here. This is not the best lock right now, but what we prefer to do is use a combination lock, and the reason why is because if you are using a lock with a key, you could lose the key. So, in our case, we don't want to carry anything extra. But if you do use a combination lock, make sure you get one with at least four digits because three digits, someone can figure out, I think in a few minutes, because that only gives you 999 combinations. This gives you 10 times that. So again, I think it'll work pretty good. Now, where you might want to use this, for us, it's been super useful during transportation. For instance, if you're taking a train, this is anywhere, anywhere, anywhere. There's usually somewhere where you can tether this to, to your seat, especially like if you're taking a train in India or overnight train somewhere. Just loop it through something, anything, and even if you can't loop it through anything, still put it in this. This is going to detract most people because the chances are they, no one's going to be able to steal this from you without you know, them making some noise. But if they see the cage, it's going to detract them already. Other places, we use this anywhere and everywhere. You know, Whether you're staying in a hostel, an Airbnb, even in a hotel, it does give us some peace of mind. Some of the main benefits of this protective steel cage is that it is made out of steel. 
using PackSafe's ExoMess technology, which means that you can't cut through this with a knife, which is the main feature of it. But also, I think you require a wire cutter to get through this. And we've been using this for 10 years, and you can see it, it, it looks like new for the most part. Also, due to its size, like right now, I have a 20 liter in here. You could easily put two 20 liter backpacks in here, and you can stick a small rolling suitcase in here as well, such as a carry-on size. We also do that sometimes. And usually, depending on how much stuff you have in here, this cable is pretty long. What I like to do is I like to loop it through as many things as I can find. That way it serves as another detractor. There are a couple of things we don't like about it. The first thing is that it's heavy. It weighs 0.67 kgs. Again, this is the 85 liter. That's about one and a half pounds. And it's a little bulky when you pack it up. Also, it's kind of a pain in the butt to pack up too. Other than that, this is a great system. I'm going to show you how to pack this up, but we're going to speed it up. PackSafe also makes a 120 liter, and I believe you can still get the 55 liter available on Amazon. We are currently traveling the world, and we're going to be posting more reviews of the items that we use. If you found this video useful, please give us a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thank you.